We're continuing our weather team coverage with News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibao. She joins us live in studio after being out in Indio all afternoon where it was pouring rain. Mm -hmm. And Samantha, less than two weeks ago, we had Tropical Storm Hillary. What was it like being out there again today? Well, Karen, safe to say I'm just thankful to be in dry clothes now, but that rain moved very quickly and it was consistent this afternoon. In a matter of minutes, we saw it go from heavy clouds to pouring rain out there. And there were several flooded roads, not just in Indio, but all throughout the valley. What looked like a river on the roads even made its way into neighborhoods. Indio resident Ellie Torje went outside to walk her dog, but those plans took a quick turn. And I can't because my neighborhood's underwater completely. Listen to my feet. So I can't do it. This is my neighborhood in Estacio. And I'm gonna try and move forward. And um, yeah, I'm underwater. Just down the street from Torget on Avenue 48 in Jackson Street in Indio, drivers were slowly making their way through flooding the water rising above the curb and onto the sidewalks. It was really bad. It's super flooded everywhere. Shayna Avergonzado was on the road with her friends. She said the rain got so bad so fast that it was hard to see where she was going. You can't even see the lines. You can't at all. <laughs> like that. <laughs> there is a bunch of like car parts driving here on the road. A lot of people are getting stuck too. The flooding didn't only hit Indio, but impacted several parts of the East Valley. This fast flowing water was running down Bear Creek in La Quinta. And here, a sinkhole off of Avenue 49 in Coachella. You can see floods washing out the road in North Shore. And over in Mecca, emergency crews helping residents get out of the rising waters. Definitely a lot happening all across the valley. So if you are planning on heading out for the Labor Day weekend, be sure to give yourself extra time and expect those delays. And when you're on those roads, stay at a safe distance from those other cars. And of course, do not drive in any of those flooded areas and be sure, be aware of those road closures and they're there for a reason. Live in studio, Samantha Meebao, News Channel 3. Thank you, Samantha. Let's talk about those road closures. There are plenty out there tonight due to the rain and flooding. Three important ones to keep an eye out for tonight. In Coachella, Cesar Chavez is closed at Avenues 50, 51, and 52. Pearson Boulevard in Desert Hot Springs is closed between Indian Canyon Drive and Karen Avenue. Washington Street in La Quinta is also closed at Lake La Quinta. And again, Gene Autry and Vista Chino have been closed at the wash. To see a full list, head to our website, kesq.com.